this being the first meeting relative to the disaster to the SS Titanic through collision with an iceberg in the Atlantic. It's like a window into the past. So these are our stores and they hold the bulk of the three and a half million records that we're holding in our care at the minute. We've been keeping records now for a, a century, but also goes right back in many cases to many, many hundreds of years. We want to highlight 100 documents that are special. The first hint of anything unusual came on the morning of Easter Monday. So this document is one of my personal favourites. Um, it's a diary written by a woman called Eva Chichester. She was from Newcastle in County Down and she set off to Dublin in April 1916 to go on sort of a girl's trip, really, to go shopping, to have lunch, to take in the sights. Um, and when she gets down there, what we now know is the Easter Rising kicks off, but it's a really different perspective on the Easter Rising because she's just furious that all of her plans have been upended by this rebellion when she's in Dublin. This is the um, Royal Letters patent from James the First of England. This was done 400 years ago. This is the wax seal that's appended to it. Just the detail showing you the, I suppose, the splendor of the crown. This is our conservation lab, and I always describe this as our document hospital. But this is where our documents will come to if they need any kind of repairs done to them to improve the standard of the documents. This is the minute book from the Harland and Wolf managing directors, this being the first meeting in the direct aftermath of, of the loss of that ship, the SS Titanic. They do then go on to record it was the unanimous desire of those present that their heartfelt sorrow at the calamity and the sad loss of life involved should be placed on record. We want to see people coming in and exploring, let's say, a way into the past.